Welcome back to The Real Love Experts channel. We're delighted to have you here with us today. In today's society, there's often a misconception surrounding the concept of being single. Many perceive it as a negative or transitional state, a pit stop on the way to a relationship. But is it truly so? Is singleness just a phase to be rushed through? Or could it actually be a positive, empowering, and enriching experience? We're here to shift your perspective to introduce a new narrative about being single. Today we are going to explore the overlooked advantages and the hidden gems of singlehood. We'll be debunking myths and misconceptions and celebrating the freedom, self-discovery and opportunities that come with being single. So, buckle up because we're about to embark on an enlightening journey. So let's dive right in and explore the perks of being unattached. Being single doesn't mean you're alone or lonely. It simply means you're in a phase of life where you're not romantically involved with someone else. Now let's talk about the benefits of being single. The first and most apparent advantage is personal growth. Being single allows you the freedom to explore who you are, what you desire, and where you want your life to lead. It gives you the time to learn about your strengths, weaknesses, passions, and fears. You have the liberty to make decisions based solely on your needs and aspirations. Another benefit is self-discovery. By spending time alone you learn to understand and appreciate your own company. This is a critical step in building a strong sense of self which can lead to higher self-esteem and a more fulfilling life. You get to know yourself better, understand your emotions, your reactions, and how you handle different situations. Freedom is another significant advantage. When you're single, you have the liberty to do as you please without having to consider someone else's feelings or schedule. Want to take an impromptu trip? You can. Feel like staying in your pajamas all day and binge watching your favorite series? Go for it. The world is your oyster. Being single also gives you ample time for hobbies and interests. Whether it's painting, hiking, cooking, or learning a new language, you have the time and freedom to immerse yourself in activities that bring you joy. Less stress is another boon of singlehood. Without the ups and downs of a romantic relationship, you may find your life to be more peaceful and less complicated. There's no need to worry about arguments, misunderstandings, or hurt feelings. Lastly, let's not forget about financial freedom. When you're single, your money is entirely yours to spend, save, or invest as you see fit. There's no need to compromise or negotiate financial decisions with a partner. As we've seen, being single isn't a curse. It's an opportunity for personal development and self-discovery. Now that we've explored the benefits of being single, let's look at how to make the most of your solo time. One of the great pleasures of single life is the opportunity for personal growth. It's a time to discover who you are, what you want, and where you're heading. Embrace a hobby you've always wanted to try, whether it's painting, learning a new language, or practicing yoga, dedicating time to a hobby can be fulfilling and fun. Don't forget the importance of spending time with friends and family. These relationships can bring joy and support into your life. Exploring new interests can also be invigorating. Perhaps there's a book you've always wanted to read, a place you've wanted to visit, or a cuisine you've wanted to try. Now's the time. And above all, remember to take time for self-care. Exercise, meditate, sleep well, eat healthy. It's essential to take care of your physical and mental health. Remember, being single is a phase of life to be enjoyed, not endured. So, there you have it. The benefits of being single and how to enjoy your solo time. We've explored how being single can lead to personal growth, independence, and the freedom to prioritize yourself. We've also delved into the many ways you can make the most of your solo time from pursuing passions to forming deeper connections with friends. Thank you for joining us today on The Real Love Experts. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and leave us a comment. Until next time, remember to love yourself first and everything else falls into line.